in the ever-evolving saga of the British royal family, one narrative has taken center stage, the rift between King Charles III and his youngest son, Prince Harry, along with his wife, Meghan Markle. Yet, amidst the swirling tensions and public scrutiny, a close family friend has revealed that the monarch has chosen to prioritize his duties over dwelling on the fractured relationship. According to this source, King Charles has made a conscious decision not to dwell on the feud with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, particularly in the wake of Harry's recent visit to the UK for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service. Despite the anticipation of a potential reconciliation, the father and son were unable to find common ground, with Harry's spokesperson stating that the king was too busy with other commitments to meet. However, this narrative took an unexpected turn when it emerged that Charles had, in fact, extended an invitation for Harry to stay at a royal residence during his trip. The prince, however, opted to stay at the hotel instead, a decision that left the king feeling bruised, according to royal experts. Royal Nika, the Sunday Times royal editor, shed light on this revelation, stating, All the narrative from the moment he touched down and we got that statement from Harry's spokesperson saying it's not possible for Harry to see his father. His father is too busy. He completely understands. That set the mood music for the whole week that Harry had said Pa is too busy to see me. Baker continued, I just thought something didn't feel quite right about this. So I dug away and dug away a bit deeper and found out that actually. Harry had asked if he could stay and Charles had said yes. Come and stay son. You come and stay in a royal residence. You are near where I am so it's going to be much easier for me to see you given what's going on with my diary and your diary. This revelation turned the narrative on its head, exposing the complexities and nuances that often underlie the public statements and perceptions surrounding the royal family. It also highlighted the delicate balance that King Charles must strike between his personal relationships and his duties as the monarch. As the source close to the family revealed, the king has chosen not to dwell on the rift with Harry and Meghan instead focusing his attention on the affairs of state that demand his unwavering commitment. This decision is not born out of indifference or a lack of desire for reconciliation, but rather a pragmatic approach to managing the weight of his responsibilities. Kate Mansey, the assistant editor at the Times, echoed this sentiment, stating, Someone at the palace told me that the king was bruised by that statement that Harry put out, which all plays into exactly why. The complexities of the rift between Charles and Harry are further compounded by the involvement of other family members, particularly Prince William. Speculation has arisen that William's reluctance to forgive his brother has hindered the potential for a reunion between Harry and Charles. The source acknowledged this dynamic, stating, If William was prepared to reconcile with Harry, it would certainly make things easier. But that's not the whole story. Adding another layer to the intricate web of tensions is Harry's criticism of Queen Camilla in his memoir, Spare. In the book, the prince described Camilla as dangerous and accused her of sacrificing him on her personal PR altar. These comments have undoubtedly strained the already fragile relationship between Harry and his stepmother with Lady Lansdowne, a close confidante of Camilla's, revealing that of course it bothers her, of course it hurts, but she doesn't let it get to her. As the dust continues to settle on Harry's visit and the revelations surrounding the King's invitation, it becomes increasingly clear that the path to reconciliation within the royal family is fraught with obstacles and complexities. King Charles finds himself navigating a delicate balance, torn between his desire for familial harmony and the weight of his duties as the monarch. Yet, in the face of these challenges, the king has chosen to prioritize his responsibilities, focusing his energy on the affairs of state that demand his unwavering attention. This decision is not a dismissal of the rift with Harry and Meghan, but rather a pragmatic approach to managing the demands of his role while leaving room for potential healing and understanding in the future. As the world watches on, the question remains, will the king's steadfast commitment to his duties ultimately pave the way for a resolution to the family's divisions, or will the rift between father and son continue to widen, casting a shadow over the monarchy's future? 
Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The path forward will require a delicate dance of diplomacy, patience, and a willingness to confront the complexities that have long defined the royal family's narrative.